So the market has shifted and a recession is on its way. But what does that really mean? We're going to talk about that right now. Now, before we begin, we have to understand that markets go up, markets go down. They always have and they always will. But we also have to realize that the word recession is not the same as the word housing crash. They're two totally different things and how most recessions are over before we even realize it began at all. So why are people feeling the recession? It's because the last one was so horrible. So it's very easy to have that short term memory and correlate those bad experiences for all recessions. But let's talk about why it's not that big of a deal and, and jump into the data. So what exactly is a recession? Well, the definition is a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by a fall in GDP in two successive quarters. In other words, it's just saying when trade and industrial activity have declined for six months or more. And so need not to fear, it's not all that bad. And it's usually not bad for housing prices either. See, if you look at this graph and you omit the last recession of 07 through 09, Three of the remaining four recessions, the housing prices actually increased from 1.9% even up to 4.8% in 2001. The only time that the housing prices declined other than the last one we went through was in July through 1990 through March of 1991 at 0.9%. And all these recessions lasted anywhere from 8 months to 15 months. So again, it was probably over before you realized it was even happening at all. Alright, so let's talk about what happened during the last recession. Let's, and let's be honest, it was really a crash. So what caused this crash? Well, there are a number of factors. The first thing we're going to talk about is how quickly homes appreciated in relative to the average of 3.6% that we're used to in US medium sales price. And that's what this graph is right here. So if you look at this, this is housing pricing um, from the year 2000 all the way up to last year. And you can see that these gray lines indicate how fast they rose. Now we look at this next chart and you look at the blue line, the dark blue line next to the year 2000. And let's just say from that year on, we add 3.6% to the appreciation. And that's what all these blue lines right here on this third graph are, are demonstrating is that prices right now are right on. They're spot on. And before the crash, before the 2006, 7, 8, 9 crash, look how high those prices were. So a market correction was in order. And there was another other factors at play as well, like predatory lending. People were getting mortgages and loans that had no business uh, receiving that money. They had they were just stating their income and their credentials just weren't strong. That's not the case anymore. There's new laws in place that actually requires people to see if someone else can pay a loan before they give them money. You know, crazy concept, right? Okay, so where are people getting all their fears about a potential housing crash? Well, they're looking at part of the data, not the full picture of a, of a lot of the information. So let me demonstrate right here. So a couple of articles that I took note of, we're talking about how many people were doing cash out refinances. So a cash out refinance is, you know, a line of credit, taking money out of their home in order to have cash to do other things with. And yes, 81% of all mortgages um, now have, a, have done cash out refinances, the most since right before the crash before. But the thing they don't explain to you is the amount of money that is being borrowed and who is borrowing the money. So if you look here, again, 2006, $321 billion were lent out to people who had no right receiving that money. And they spent it on silly things, um, you know, like uh, vacation cars and other toys. Now look at what, how much money is lent out this time, just over 10%. Uh, of that at 38 billion. So even though more people are taking money out and using their home uh, for, you know, taking the cash out of their homes, they're using it for better things and a lot less money is out there. And it, so it is, it's lent to people who have the ability to pay it back. All right, so a recession is going to happen. But before it happens, I still want to drive home the point that a crash isn't going to happen. So that's what this chart here, this chart is going to really help drive that point home. See, what it is, is the household debt service for mortgages over income, or in other words, housing debt over income. And you'll see that since 1980, we are at the lowest point ever at 4.24%. And right before the housing bubble and crash, we were, I guess, at almost double at 7. Well, not really, but at 7.21%. So we are the lowest ever since before I was even born. So again, we are not gonna crash. It's, it's gonna be a soft landing and there might be a landing that you don't even feel at all. So when is this soft landing recession going to happen? 
Well, 68% of the economists are saying that it's going to be either this year or next year. So it's going to happen. And, but these same economists are also saying that home prices are going to continue to rise. So it's not really going to affect housing. It's just going to soften it up a little bit. I do have good news for the buyers who were waiting for the house prices to drop and hoping that maybe a crash was coming. Um, I, even though that's probably not going to happen, the good news is we are entering into a buyer's market in many markets and it's about time. We've been in the seller's market for so long. So what happens in a buyer's market? Well, properties sit on the market longer, so sellers get a little more anxious and you'll see a lot more seller concessions, um, a lot less bidding wars, and then more favorable negotiating terms on your contract than what we had before. So that is good news. But again, if you're waiting for prices to go down, it's just not scheduled or just not planned to happen anytime soon. To wrap this whole thing up, is a recession coming? Yes, when is it coming? Probably 2020, maybe at the end of this year. Is it a housing crash? No, it's more of a soft landing and chances are you won't even notice it. Are prices gonna go down? Nope. Are we entering a buyer's market in a lot of markets? Absolutely. And that's the synopsis of what's going to happen with the upcoming recession and how our correspondence relates to the uh, housing market. If you have any questions, just reach out to me anytime. My email and phone numbers below. If you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. I make a lot of videos that are very helpful and informative and click on the bell to be alerted whenever I release a new one.